Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is Gundam Legacy Extreme, and yeah, I'm back again. Um, I know my uh, uploads on this channel have been very empty and or sporadic in the recent months, and that's mostly because I'm trying to figure out exactly what I'm going to be doing exactly. I want to get back on this channel. I'm basically scrapping most, if not all, of my side channels, and I want to return focus back on this channel bringing back everything that I said I was taking away from this channel originally, originally, and any, any potential anime reviews, uh, gaming related stuff, card game related stuff, all that stuff's gonna just come back to this channel, uh, and that's pretty much that. Uh, as you can tell, I have a couple boxes right here, so figured let's get started with some of the new content that we'll be seeing. Um, I'm debating which one I want to open for. You know what? It's going to spoil the content in, in this box, but let's just open up the Mandrake box, because there's only one thing in here. Uh, this video... Uh, there, there's going to be a second, a, a second unboxing this week after this one, because I have a whole... I have another... I have another two boxes coming from Mandrake that did not arrive today. Probably won't be arriving until Wednesday, so there's that. A whole lot of packing peanuts. These packing peanuts. I'm gonna wrap. No surprises or anything here. Not, not too surprised Mandrake doesn't do that. But, uh, yeah. In here open, which means what I bought was loose, but that's perfectly fine with me, is the Deluxe Shakariki Sports Gashat. Let's open that one. I can just take it right out. Huh. Actually, it wasn't open. It's just the box is a little bit, probably got a bit dinged, because it still has the pull tab in it. Alright, I'll get to messing with that later, but as I said, that spoils a little bit of what's in this box right here. One thing in here is actually very, very special to me, and I will get into explaining that a little bit in this video, but mostly in its upcoming review, Will I go into full detail on why it has some important, why it has a lot of it, not so, a lot of importance to me. Alright, so, first thing in here, we have the Deluxe Buggle Driver, or Bugster Driver. Yeah, Buggle Driver. In other words, the Bug Visor and the Bugster Buckle. Oh, how I've wanted this ever since Genmu Dangerous Zombie Gamer Level 10 debuted in the show. And as much as Kuroto Don is a dick... Still my favorite form of everything in the show. Ugh. Next up, to go with the Shakariki Sports that I got, we have... Did I just... Oh, you got to be kidding me. Well, I didn't realize I was going to be getting this, so now I'm going to have two. Oh, this is stupid. How stupid am I? Alright, well, I'm gonna have to figure out something with that. I wasted money that I didn't mean to. I'll sell it, so who cares. But, uh, I have the Gamer Driver. Specifically the one, specifically the Natakiri set that came with the, uh, that comes with the, uh, Kiewaza slot holder. And the thing that I'm laughing at is, Apparently, HLJ still had plenty of stock left on these because I just, because since I bought that, I got the mighty I got the uh, Proto Mighty Action X shot, which uh, was actually one of the two items in my uh, Mandrake order that I'm waiting for. So, yay! I'll figure like I said, I'll probably just end up selling that. So I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that. But anyway, getting on to the most important thing to me in this box. 
is this right here. This Figma figure. This is Figma 309. It's a little dinged, which bothers me, but... Yeah. This is Hikaru Shido. And this figure is actually very important to me. Uh, for one thing, since I started collecting Figmas, I've been begging and begging Max Factory to make Figmas of this series, and we finally get it. But the other important thing to me is the importance of this character, which I will get into a lot more in the review, but this character is, has been, since I was a kid, one of my favorite anime characters of all times. You could go as much to say as when I was in my weave days, she was my waifu. And, yeah, I'm just so freaking happy we finally have a Figma of this character. And I really hope, I really hope they milk this franchise and give us, like, all the characters armored, all the characters and all of their clothing and armor designs. But, anyway, that's pretty much it for this unboxing video. Stay tuned for more. I will have reviews of all of these items coming up soon. Hey guys, how's it going? This is Gunlex Extreme, and I am here for, well, this is the continuation because I'm going to connect this with the previous video because I didn't think these would come that fast. The uh, second set of my pre-orders, not my pre-orders, my orders came. So uh, let's just get right into it. I was actually shocked because these, uh, last I checked last night, these still said they were at uh, JFK, and all of a sudden this morning I wake up to check my, uh, check my stuff, and all of a sudden, boom, they're here. Ooh, good, the first box. And in the first box, we have the Mighty Brothers WX Gashat. So, yeah, I'm already halfway done with completing X-Aids Gashats. I just need to get Dragon Knight Hunter Z and uh, Geki Totsu Robots, and the burger, and the hamburger one. I'm not, I'm probably not going to get the Legend Rider just shots. Is this, yeah. I was kind of hoping that, as I said in the previous one, I had stupidly bought a uh, Mighty Action X Proto Gashat. I bought it without realizing that HLJ would still have the campaign going on, or have extra leftovers from the campaign. So, now I have two of these. So, these are more than likely going to get sold, or if someone is willing to trade from, uh, trade from, for, uh, trade me this, uh, trade me a, uh, Dragonite Hunter Z, and a Gikitotsu Robots for this, or Tattle Quest and Bang Bang Shooting. And I need those as well. But I digress. So this is a quick video just to attach on to the previous one. I have nothing else really to go over. Uh, do expect reviews of the Gashikon Bug Visor and the and the bug uh, slash bug uh, buggle driver, the gamer driver soon. Um need to get LR forty fours for my proto action X shot. And I'm debating how I'm going to style my reviews for uh, uh, for this on how on if I'm gonna review Gashat separately or if I'm just gonna kind of cluster everything up into uh, bundles of reviews. Probably gonna do them separately. And uh, not sure if I'm gonna do the Kimiwaza slot holder together with the with the driver or not either. Uh, probably again I'm gonna do that one separately since it is a separate product. I have a lot to actually say about the Kimio as a slot holder because I'm of two. I'm on the fence with uh, how I approve of its selling. But anyway, that's for its review. So this is Gun Legacy Extreme signing out, and I will see you all at the next video. Peace. What's up, guys? This is Gun Legacy Extreme, and I'm here for one more unboxing video before I finally start getting to uploading reviews. And uh, today's today's unboxing is courtesy of CS Toys International. It's my first time ordering from them in a very very, very long time. But, uh, so, anyway. Can you open the box? Oh boy. 
I always forget how well they pack their stuff. We have a nice little thank you card with shishi red on it. I'll get to my opinions on Q-Ranger at some point eventually when I actually care. It's just my invoice. So, we have the Go to Mifa Beat and Jet Combat Gashats. I need to get I need to get Tattle Quest and Bang Bang Shooting now. Those are going to be annoying. But I have those. As well, I got well, the Gashat holder with Proto Gekitotsu Robots. Now the box is bulging to the fact that they can't get it in there properly. Holy crap, that's hilarious. Alright, so I'm going to get to sticking around with these eventually. So, this has been Legacy Extreme setting out, and like I said, this was just a quick little video unboxing. Uh, I don't really have much to talk about. I don't, actually, no, really, yeah, I really don't have much else to go over. Uh, expect reviews within the next coming weeks, and stay tuned for more. This has been Legacy Extreme setting out, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. Hey guys, how's it going? This is Gun Legs Extreme, and finally, we're at the last part of my little unboxing uh, setup for uh, Kamen Rider. <laughs> yeah, uh, this took a lot longer than I intended. I was originally going to have some videos up, uh, not some videos up before then, uh, before then to be kind of like a buffer for all this, but unfortunately. Uh, life kind of got in the way. I got sick. I've been hurt from work. I had a guest over for for about a week, so plans got derailed horribly. With this, I'll finally be able to, for now at least, get to recording and stuff. So hopefully everything works out. But if you remember from the last video, which I'm just, I'm debating whether or not I'm going to just attach this to the end of or not. Uh, we have Gashats. Specifically, I have Tuttle Quest Bang Bang Shooting and Dorago Night Hunter Z. So with those, all I'm missing to have a complete Gashat collection now, well, now as of the recording, as of this week's episode, I'm missing Gekitotsu Robots DX Not Proto Version, Giri Giri Chambara, uh, dual Gashat Gear, dual Gashat Gear Beta, and Maximum Mighty X. That's all I'm missing to have a complete Gashat collection. Woo! So, this is going to like the Extreme signing out, and I will see you all very soon, and do expect reviews of all these very soon. Peace.